Where's these chickens? <laughs> Chicken reinforcements! Chickens have entered the Battle of Thermopylae. All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome to Hyponite's Battles. Now, I saw my boy IGB play this the other day, and it looks fun. It looks like the next battle simulator game, and Lord knows we have been waiting for a while to play a game like this. Oh my gosh, you can build a unit, build animation. Ooh. Why? I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna use the default ones, but that's pretty amazing. Ooh. Minion. Good. Okay. Spartans. Hmm. I wonder what we should do. 300 Spartans. <gasps> Look at this. Okay, so this is basically, this is all about the custom battles, guys. So the first thing I'm gonna do, look at this. I see two canyon walls, and I see Spartans as a unit. Lord knows! We're gonna create Thermopylae. So let's go with a thousand. Now I'm gonna make these guys evil. We Wait, do we have more than two factions? No, we only have good and evil. And you know what, you're not gonna be- Ooh, waypoints? Oh shoot. Son of a biscuits. Wait, if, is it really this simple? Is it really this simple? Now instead of minions- A Persians?! Hold on, let's look at the units. So we've got minions, shielders, arrows, chickens, Chuck Boris, <laughs> marines. Get tactical marines, ogres, barzianas. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Space ninjas, zombies, and default unit. We can make our own and there is steam workshop support. I've got my Spartans on hold formation now. I'm hoping this looks good. I got WA's day to do this. Let's go ahead. Very high number of units. <laughs> yes! Yes indeed I would like to continue. Oh my god. Okay. What are these things in the front? Is that like... Oh, maybe because I spawned in too many units, we broke it. No, we've we've got little broken shields, but here are my Spartans. Begin! Charge! <laughs> look at this! Okay, Spartans. Now, who's gonna win? The Spartans or the Persians? And look at this. I don't know if these guys are running into each other, but there's people dazed and confused back there. And you know what? I don't know. What is this guy doing? Hey, man, I just had... What did, what did Persians... Oh man, there's there's some we may we may have put too many units in. What are you guys doing? Oh what? How'd they get over here? It's a it's a are they jump are they getting through the mountains? So you can see what is this? Ah, the number of casualties is the left number. The number of units they have on the field is this number, or the bigger number, I guess, because left and right's relative to each faction individually. But we, oh yes, we've got our Spartans here and they're holding the line. Look at those Lambda shields. I love it, man. They look really cool. It's, uh, there's a lot of red, uh, jelly on the ground because I don't know if you guys were aware of this, but back in the day, Persia was actually a very, very, uh, fertile farming area. It was a very agricultural based society. They weren't warlike. They weren't trying to invade Greece over and over and over and over. No, that's not what they were doing. They were actually growing strawberries and making jam and then the and then the Greeks were like, yo man, we want your jam and then the Persians were jerks and they're like, no man, the jam's ours. You see where I'm going with this story? This is historically accurate. I'm 100% being serious while our Spartans are finding the goat path where what was that guy's name? Boagrius or Lacedaemon? Oh man, look at how the units can just like... There's like hundreds of Persians right here. And they're chopping up the Spartans. Oh! So, this game is definitely much a work in progress. However, I found on the Steam Workshop, it's on sale when I bought it. It was $4. I bought this myself. By the way, I guess the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, or the Fart Tube column I need to work on my my acronym skills oh my gosh my my Spartans are getting surrounded because these knuckleheads are not reinforcing the line and anyone knows with a hoplite wall it's all about like you know you keep the wall and you just hold strong because uh, hoplite walls and phalanx walls basically instead of big old shields they just had cheap pikes we're all about just like postponing and like kind of delaying the enemy. And that's what Alexander the Great was good at was like, he used his phalanxes, which is not the same as a hoplite, mind you, and their shorter spears. 
and then it was all hammer and anvil, so him and his cavalry would hit from behind. So, the trick is here that my, either my story about Jam or the story about Alexander the Great's tactics, one of those wasn't a true story, and I'm sure you don't know which one it is. Oh man, look at these Spartans just dropping, because... Uh, you know what? Actually, hold on. Let's just go back. Let's go back. Let's go back to the future. And I want to actually change my Spartans, guys. Instead of a hold position, we're going to have a waypoint. And I'm going to move them... Oh, that's my camera. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I can create the starting camera. So I can put it here, right? And then I could start... Wait, what other units do I have? I could have reinforcements. Minions. I don't want minions. I want... I want chickens. I want 50 chickens. And we're gonna make waypoints. It would be kind of cool if we could also make this... So, you know what? What if Thermopylae... What if the Spartans were supported by chickens? Lord, no. I don't know what would happen. But I guess we're gonna find out. So let's see. Yeah, a high number of units. Mm. Oh. Oh, this is cool. So it crashed, but we have the same battle we were set up. By the way, while that was happening, did it change? Was this grass and now it's not grass anymore? Or am I just losing my mind? We're going to make this... You know what? We're going to do 500. And instead of 300 Spartans, we're going to do a good 150. This battle is going to be adjusted. In There's still the same ratio of units. Well, other than the chickens, obviously. But I got some new guys. And I'm excited to show them off in the next battle. All right, Spartans, prepare for glory. Oh yeah, see, this is a much better number. We're able to manage it. You can see that there's less like herp and derp going on. And then all these Persian warriors, look at these guys like, hey Baron, my name is, uh, what's a Persian name? Xerxes, that's like the only one I know. And like King Nebuchadnezzar, look at the chicken reinforcement. Nebuchadnezzar was Babylonian. Sparta! Oh my, they have a Spartan kick, so that's how these units... Now, this is much better. If you use a, a, a better, mm, a more manageable number of units... Where is these chickens? <laughs> Chicken reinforcements! Chickens have entered the Battle of Thermopylae. Therefore, the Spartans should be victorious. I would say... This is going at a rate of, it seems like, three to one. Uh, three three Persians are going down to every one Spartan. Ooh, it's kind of actually becoming more of a two to one. See, when the Persians get the flanking maneuvers and they just kind of bunch up like this, now can you make it so they can't bunch up like that? Because that's just that's just unfair. But the Persians, I get, or the Spartans rather, have the ability to kind of like kick the Persians back. And you see these guys who are like dazed and confused. That's that's their ability. Now, wouldn't it be also cool? If they could throw their spear and pull out their Zephos sword, which is the smaller swords that Hoplites used back in the day. Bashing spree, that's right, man. Give me all the goodies. This one's actually coming down to the wire. We've lost one third and we've lost, I don't know, man. But where are those chickens at? Oh, actually, this number also includes the chickens. And they are out here. Look at these guys pecking at them, man. This is hilarious. Okay. Sparta! 300 Spartans versus 2 billion Persians. Now, that's the other interesting thing about Thermopylae. Is like, people are like, well, we think it could be anywhere between 10,000 to like 5 million Persians or something like that. I think most people agree that it was like, what, 100 to 200,000 or something? I don't know, man. I'm, at, I'm not a historian. All I know is Persians used to make the most delicious strawberry jam, which you can see they, when they go down. Like, you know how Vikings... Ooh, I got some Viking units to show off. Vikings were all about... Ooh, Persia's getting whooped. Like, Vikings, like, had to... When they when they fell in battle, they were like, I want to have, I wanna have my sword in my hand so that I can go to Valhalla and, you know drink distilled honeys and stuff like that. Ooh. Wow, yeah, dude. Get wrecked, boys. We lost mm, only a third of our Spartans. These, these Persians, man, they can't hang. But yeah, basically when Persians go down in battle, they gotta drop a jar of jam before they go. 
or else they won't make it to their Valhalla. That's historically accurate. That is not. I'm talking out of my butt. Now we're gonna change the map. We've got, ooh, a Colosseum. Oh my. But, and we've also got a castle. Oh, this is perfect because I got two new units, by the way. Where is the castle? <gasps> oh, whoa. You know, do you know what this looks like, right? This is Helm's Deep. This is Helm's Deep. Now, where's the Hornberg? Where's that giant horn where Gimli, Gimli goes, and then Gandalf on the third morning of the second day of March, look to the east at daybreak. I'm gonna wreck these guys. Dude, we need Gandalf. Look at these guys. Look at the white hand. Whom do you serve? Saruman. We've got Urukai and we've got cave trolls here. And then we've got a few archers. Oh, those guys look funny. We've got a few minions. And then we've got a few more minions up here. And then we've got the Knights Templar. And now this is gonna pre a preview of what we could do. This is not a proper battle of Helm's Deep, but it is a preview as to what could happen. So let's start. I guess there's only 60 attackers. A lot of trolls. I'm, I'm not sure how good these Urukai are gonna do. But we've put on waypoints. They're going across the bridge. I'm curious to see if these archers who told you to retreat, you sons of guns? Get them, boys! Oh, now they're firing. Oh, they're hitting They're hitting the Urukai from uh, the walls over here, which I like. I, I wonder what the range is. It'd be cool if you could put, like, ballistas or something. I think this game's got a lot of potential. It seems relatively simplistic right now, but I do like that we can create waypoints. We can create our own units. They're selling it very, very cheaply. So... I think for what it is, oh man, these Urukai are chopping through these minions, and it seems that the Urukai also are big on grape je or strawberry jelly. Look at these guys! Oh man, I, I'm not—I'm kind of worried about what's going to happen now. Who are these guys? I don't even know what unit. I thought those were minions, or oh, they were. Sh oh, those—these guys were minions. The guys I did put out there. Oh my gosh, look at the archers. We're called uh, shield guys, so we fought through the shield guys. I don't even think these ogres have had to fight just yet. They're a little bit slower than Urukai. Okay, there's the minions. Go! How are they gonna do? So, they've only taken 10 casualties. The uh, Saruman's force. Now, I'm really curious to see if we could get some like uh, Knights of Rohan, spear throwers, archers. Oh my gosh, they're. What? They stun by hitting the ground. Now, these guys are waiting for their turn, and jelly jams everywhere, man. But look at this. Here's the Knights Templar. Hopefully, they can do a little bit better. But this is a preview. If you want a proper Helm's Deep battle, you guys know what to do. Oh, man. These guys can hit from a little further away. They got some big swords. Oh, man. Are they chopping through? They are just absolutely wrecking the Urukai. Oh, here come the trolls, though. So we've got 10 trolls left. Oh, the wow, these Templar are really good. I don't know if the animation is allowing them to hit from further away. The Templar might be broken. It was a user-created unit. I wonder if I could go in and fix them myself, but we're still doing a little survey here. And I'm hoping to see the Steam Workshop do a little bit, you know, have, see some cool things over the next week, coming days and whatnot. Oh, this is cool. I just hit the duplicate button. So basically, we're gonna have Chuck Boris, my name Chuck Boris, and we've got them both waypointed in here, these big groups of zombies, so we've got zombies in here? I mean, come on. All right, here's Chuck Boris. Oh, he's even got the red star of Mother Russia, and he's only got three fingers, because that's all you need when you're gonna be punching zombies in the face. Here's what the zombies look like. They got axes. This is interesting. All right, so let's see how 400 Zed heads do against Chuck and Boris. Now they've got to go in. So this is a Colosseum. We've got a gladiator arena. And in the red corner, weighing in at six fingers and a bottle of vodka is Chuck and Boris. Das Vidania Tovarish. And he is, you know what? I've got my money on Chuck and Boris. Oh! Who, 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 what? Did you see that? Cap, 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 whoop, 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 whoop. I wonder, is he invincible? These zombies have axes. I've never seen zombies this coordinated. Man, he's just going out there giving- Ooh, I like that spin attack, man. 
It is definitely a really good way of getting the zombies off him. He's not the fastest at, you know, getting rid of the Zambs. The Zambinos. The zebras, not zebras, the, the Zedhead Zambies, Zambinos. The eaters of the li lively people. What? <laughs> I can't come up with zombie nicknames right now. So, this is an animation-based battle simulator. As you can see, I have experienced some crashes. For a $4 game, though, assuming that the developers, developers, those felt, I guess if you were to say developers and fellers together, you get developers. But those fellers, the developers, if they continue to update it and fix it and stabilize it, you know, I think this has got a cool little idea, specifically in that you can just create whatever units you want. And I do like the cute kind of cartoony charm to this book. Chuck Boris, he only killed 45 zombies. Let's end this battle and let's change Chuck Norris into, I want to try out those trolls again. Chucky Boris, we're going to make you 10. And instead of 10 Chuck Borises, we're going to use... Space Ninjas. Wait a minute, this is, uh... Kylo Ren, but with a blue lightsaber? That is sacrilege! Whoever made this, maybe if I change what faction they're on, it would change the color of the lightsaber. So I guess good is actually the red, and blue is the bad, so if I reversed it? If I, if I fl flannipple in reverse- What? They just Jedi pulled the zombies in! So they can pull them in. Whoa! What are they doing, man? They're doing Jedi tricks. So that's pretty cool. They're pretty evasive. Now, they, they keep kind of running into the wall, I guess, by making them a Coliseum. What are they doing? And do we have a fast forward button? Oh, we can hide the UI. That's nice. All right, now we've got Marines. Oh, yeah, these guys look like they're packing them ARs right there. They got the balaclavas, and we got some uh, armored helmets and some gloves. Clearly, we're fighting in a cold terrain, and we're gonna need that. We're gonna need that. I hope you guys brought your extra ammunitions, because you're gonna be putting lead down range trying to get them Zeds right in the heads, and that's the way to do it. So we've we've doubled their number to 20. I'm kind of trying out a bunch of the different units to get a feel and show you guys the units, so that if we want to do custom battles in this, we could do that. Oh yeah, I like the sound effects. Rat, rat, get them, boys! Uh oh, what's gonna happen when they? Ooh, ooh, oh, oh, we're losing them. We're being overrun. The dead are here. The Zambinos. Oh yeah, these Marines are dropping quick. No, Private Ryan is down. Now we've got Private Yuri and Private Ivan, and they gone. Ladies and gentlemen, though, I guess that would be a nice little survey, a tour de force of what we got going here. We got a few different maps. Very basic, very early. I'm gonna be following the development of this game. Now, what if we made it... How many are we gonna need? I'm gonna go with 80 Marines. And I would like a fast forward button. All right, Marines, get tactical, Marines! Now, what if we had the UI here? And I feel like these aren't true zombies because they got axes. They should be going... Brains and like using their hands and teeth and fingernails. Oh, these guys are getting in. They're gonna get in. We're gonna get overrun. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we won't. Let's see what happens. We've only lost. Whoa, the Marines are dropping relatively fast. It's kind of a race. I think the Marines have the edge. They're kind of winning the left flank, or at least they were. De no, we're definitely. Mm, I don't know. It's. I still think it's too early to tell because the Marines are just under 50% But I think now the Marines start to drop And the zombies start to win. Yep. Oh, yeah zombies are flanking watch out, buddy Actually this group here if they can eliminate these guys fast. They have a chance. Nope. I don't think they got a chance There's only 11 of them left. They're going down, but they're going down with a fight and look at that red strawberry jam all over the place I love strawberry jelly jam. Strawberry jelly. What am I talking about? But but seriously, a nice piece of <clears throat> toast with a little butter. The key. Get the toast. Don't brown don't don't kill the toast. Don't burn the toast. A little bit of butter. A little bit of jam. And that's a victory for me, so them Marines couldn't couldn't hang, couldn't keep it together. Hyper Knights battles, man. Is it the next big battle simulator? I don't know. Was it entertaining? Yeah. 
Is it worth four bucks? I mean, kind of and kind of not at the same time. You guys got to make your own decisions on that. But if you got custom battle suggestions, let me know in the link to this game. Should be in the video description. If not, just look up Hyper Knights Battles, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy Sunday.